Hey, my people, what's going on? This is Major, Major TV. Let's talk. With all the Grandmaster J haters. Nowhere in the world a black man can say what he said. And calling white people out. Talking about defending himself, shooting white people, what have you, right? Um... He was very blunt, right? Grandma's J didn't hold nothing back. I think a lot of these brothers and sisters out here that's claiming to be pro-black or pro uh, or black and conscious. I mean black black and conscious and focused and and all about the fighting, what have you. But when I look at them, they look more commercial, very standard. The things they talk about. People have been writing about that for years, been speaking about it for years. The minister has been doing that for so long. So he took over the, the nation's Islam. There's not nothing that we haven't been hearing about with the racism, systemic racism, the new Jim Crow, how it locked us up, how talking to us as far as um through stopping us unreasonable stops unreasonable searches going out our homes without a warrant not being justified violating our fourth amendment in all kind of ways right and this brother grandma J come on scene and expose a lot of he exposed a lot of people that have been talking black. He exposed a lot of people that was talking about what we need to do. A lot of black people that's on YouTube that be talking that rah rah rah. They talk that rah rah rah. And what get me, I say, like, they never start to be. He not um um he's talking re reckless. I'm like, y'all be talking reckless too. Oh, I take that back. Y'all don't talk reckless. I told you, they just be talking, right? You know what they be doing? They be trying to be politically correct. That's the problem with the black man. But I'm about to bust this thing wide open. And what you think Michael Mace was doing? What you think Michael was doing? He was calling white people blue-eyed devils. Huh? What you think Michael was doing? He was very blunt. He inspired a black nation. <laughs> Even those that was with the nonviolence still was inspired by this brother. People that was totally illiterate, people that probably was cooling the kissing ass, had to give props to them. Even though we know there was a lot of moody blacks back then that was really like trying to cut Malcolm down, you know, to the white people. And white American and just expose them, right? You had black people that was talking bad about him for the most part. He was like angel fell up, fell from the sky, you know. And I don't even want to use the word angel. I take that back because I don't even want to get off into that kind of way of talking. He was just a brother that came on the scene. Thanks to Long Army Elijah Muhammad, um, enlightened his brother. You know, he was able to. Take with the teachings of Elijah Muhammad was shared with him to the next level because he was already super smart from reading and studying and whatnot, compounding with um with um Elijah Muhammad was shared with him. But I don't understand they carry arms. Even though we said the Constitution wasn't written for us and blah, blah, blah. But legally, it does apply to us, right? And though we get our constitutional rights violated a lot, it doesn't stop us from still exercising or trying to exercise. And they didn't, I didn't see nobody shoot Grandmaster J. Let, let's forget Grandmaster J. I didn't see nobody shoot at a sh 
shoot at anyone from impact. I've seen white people and trolls get on, get in the comments and just talk ish and make fun of the movement and the march and the formation, right? That's the most they have done. They haven't turned no gun. You know, the angry Viking and other white militias really upset because Graham has just called them out and what have you, right? But here, yeah, this supposed to be um, white militias that anti-government because it's a government um, being part of. Um, they just bought off, right? They control um, by the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? And we know that a lot of these white militias is anti-government, but and about the Second Amendment. But when they can, all the black people being on. And when Grandma J was talking now, now they don't care about the Second Amendment being violated when it comes out of black people or getting um, ushered through the course of some trumped up charges. But with his um, music career and him being a um, politician, whatever. I mean, is it is it wrong to be a DJ or rapper and flop? And I'm not saying it brother flop. Is it wrong to be a politician? Bro, we messed up in the head. And I don't get it. Like, damn you do, damn you don't. They don't want you to be a cool. They want you to be pro-black. But if you be pro-black, you got to walk a certain way, talk a certain way in. Come on, man. It's, it's no set rules written in the fine print and being a revolutionary. If you love black people, you down with black people, that's all that matter. It's a saying, right? We both going to that store right there. I can walk right to, right to the store and you can go around the corner to go to the store. But we still going to the store. One might take longer than the other, but we're going to meet up at the store. Same with the struggle. You got people that's not about being on. You got some people that's about being on. You got some people want bus, I mean, want bus bullets. Per blink. You got some people just tired of black people fighting and saying, F this, I'm not dealing with none of this. Look, some people. Gonna put on that suit. Some people gonna put on that camouflage. Some people gonna put on those jeans, tank top, tennis shoes. Some people gonna put on that button up, slash, I don't know, and talk that rah rah black consciousness, um, being pro black. Doing for self, becoming culturally aware, talking about racism and systemic racism. You have people doing that. But guess what? That don't mean that they have the people in their heart. That don't mean that they're going to go all the way through with the goal and plan. A lot of people that's speaking, and I'm going to be real. Some of them grind is crazy, right? They're able to drive videos about everything and <laughs> and really touch up on some very sensitive, touchy, strong topics. Some of them be on print, right? But sometimes it become rhetoric. Sometimes it become... Them just running their mouth. And sometimes when you're not willing to go all the way. What you mean all the way? When you talk, right? And you express yourself, right? And you're telling the people, this is what we got to do. 
Then what you do? You go do it. Turn blank. I'm not saying a person's up, jump up and just go do something, right? After speaking about something. But making them, excuse me, preparing yourself along the way. Doing what you need to do to ultimately see your goal get achieved and your service to the black community. Me personally, right? A lot of things when people talk, right? This is saying. Believe not what you have, what you see. Watch the person actions. Watch the end game, right? And I got this from Floyd Laws of Power. A person can be saying this, that, and other, but if their actions not reflecting what they're truly trying to do. You have to take two steps back from that person or persons that didn't observe. And you have to make sense of following that person or joining in with that person. I feel like everybody's words should be manifested through their actions. One way or another. The black com the the black leaders in the, the black community has failed the black community because a lot of the movement have become very commercial. And not listen, I'm not against black people supporting black people and a black conscious sister brother receiving money from blacks. My problem is is when you're speaking and you're talking, right? And you're talking about the police violence, you're talking about building business in the community, you're talking about being black in power. You're talking about self-defense or what have you, but you're not doing none of these things. Or you're doing it in small increments and you're getting caught up in a moment and them small increments turn into you not really being as progressive as you should. And I just don't get how people just going after Grand Master G and literally, literally being district attorneys, being jurors, being judges, they charging, placing Grand Master, Grand Master G on trial, any convicting them. They're doing a white man job. It's all counterproductive. I don't even, I, I can't even begin to try to understand where all this going at. But I challenge all the haters. I challenge them. Because logically, when you look back, and my, my evidence is going to be look at the black power movement in the 60s and 70s. Them people had no time to be doing what we're doing now. But I'm about to drop something about that um, very, very soon. So um, I just want to just express what's with all my heart. You know, I, I love to do the raw emotions, right? And um, I just feel like, damn, man, what a common sense that. Damn, we're going to see that we shooting ourselves and our own feet. And in, our, in, in, in recent comments... That's what a lot of black people been saying. So look, I got nothing but love for the black community. I'm in the fight. So y'all just do this. Y'all just do this for me. Stay focused. Stay on cold. And y'all don't know about to stay. Just stay black. Peace.